Okay, dear students, today we are going to study gas turbines, which comes under module 2. And in the previous classes that we have seen, the working principle of closed cycle gas turbine as well as open cycle gas turbine. So today I have taken this closed cycle gas turbines. Just I would like to uh, make a recap on this. So there are different components like compressor and then combustion chamber and then turbine and then cooler. So there are four components and through which that air is circulated throughout the cycle. So first air enters into the compressor and comes out that compressed air will, will be directed to the combustion chamber and fuel is supplied to it. So combustion takes place and that then the gas will be entered into the turbine. So expansion takes place and uh, the work is developed and the remaining gas will come out to the cooler and here in this cooler this area so the air is cooler gas is cooled with the help of this water water goes in and water comes out so cooling takes place so all this is this working principle that we have seen in the previous classes and also we have seen the ts diagram that is nothing but the temperature and entropy diagram for this closed cycle so what we have seen is one to two is uh, isentropic compression entropy is constant from 1 to 2 process and then 2 to 3 process is um, constant pressure so the constant pressure will lie or uh, incline line this ts diagram so 2 to 3 process where heat is added and 3 to 4 is a turbine which is again a isentropic process which is entropy is remains constant to 3 to 4 and then later so there will be a heat release which is a constant pressure process once again so this is the ts diagram so this is the compressor work and uh, this is the turbine work so here heat in and uh, here heat release so this is what we have seen in the previous classes the working principle of closed cycle gas turbines and temperature entropy diagram for the same so today we are going to see the efficiency so the derivation for the open cycle or closed cycle so let us see the derivation for this um, gas turbine uh, okay in this derivation part that is efficiency of gas turbines so first we need to take this wt that is compressor compressor input work so compressor work so this is the compressor work and the ts diagram so this is the work input so compressor work is equal to the formula for compressor work is equal to gamma by gamma minus 1 into p2 v2 minus p1 v1 where gamma is equal to adiabatic index so adiabatic index for air we is taken as 1.4 and uh, pressure and volume at the point 2 that is the second state and p1 v1 at the first state so this is the compressor work formula and then so here we need to take mass is equal to 1 kg we are assuming this mass as 1 kg so this is an assumption here so this can be written as again gamma by gamma minus 1 so p2 v2 is equal to mrt2 so in the place of mass we are taking 1 kg so i neglect mass so rt2 p2 v2 is equal to mrt2 m is taken as 1 so rt2 minus in the same way p1 v1 is equal to rt1 okay so then gamma by gamma minus 1 so r is taken as common so we can take this r outside so finally you will get t2 minus t1 so this is the compressor work so wc is equal to so cp into so entire thing gamma r divided by gamma minus 1 is equal to cp where specific heat cp is equal to specific heat at constant pressure Okay, there is a standard value for this specific heat at constant pressure so that value has to be substituted in the place of cp and uh, t2 minus t1 so where cp is equal to gamma 
r divided by gamma minus 1 there is a formula for cp so here this is substituted in the place of gamma r by gamma, uh, gamma minus 1 so we have uh, received this this is very important one so which is compressor work and now let's see the turbine work so how much work is done by the turbine so in the same way a turbine work is equal to wt is equal to gamma by gamma minus 1 p3 v3 minus p4 v4 so same like before so gamma by gamma minus 1 so this can be written as r t3 minus r t4 so r is taken outside gamma by gamma uh, gamma minus 1 so here r comes and t3 minus t4 so finally so wt is equal to cp into t3 minus so t4 so this let us assume compressor work equation as 1 and uh, turbine equation as 2 so now we will see what is the efficiency which is thermal efficiency of gas turbine so every anywhere if you take efficiency of any cycle this is output by input so here what comes here w net net work done divided by heat supplied so what is net work done net work done come is nothing but so turbine work divided minus compressor work so this is this turbine work minus compressor work will be your net work done so that's what it is written here w net is equal to wt minus wc and heat supplied qs so we'll write as it is where do you find this qs so heat supplied here so this is nothing but qs this is nothing but qs so it is nothing but the thermal efficiency of gas turbines so now we will elaborate write uh, everything in terms of uh, temperatures so thermal efficiency of gas turbine is equal to so in the place of wt like uh, previously what we have found out is this formula we need to substitute here so cp into t3 minus t4 in the place of compressor work cp into t2 minus t1 divided by cp into t3 minus t2 so this heat supplied is cp into t3 minus t2 will be the heat supplied qs so now we have to substitute everywhere cp is uh, common so we can cancel it and finally so t3 minus t2 minus t4 minus t1 so we have rearranged in the place of t4 we have brought t2 here t4 we have uh, taken here so here there is a slight uh, shuffling work has been done so uh, divided by t3 minus t2 why we have shuffled is because so there will be equal in the numerator and the denominator for that sense we have rearranged the temperatures so the value doesn't change by doing this so finally cycle efficiency or turbine efficiency is equal to this will become this gets cancelled so 1 minus t4 minus t1 divided by t3 minus t2 so there is one more equation so we can take it as a third a third equation now we will go process by process like process 1 to 2 so process 1 to 2 what we have seen is adiabatic process so that means so we can write here adiabatic process so adiabatic process earlier we have seen so for process 1 to 2 what we can write is t2 by t1 is equal to p2 by p1 whole to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma this we have seen already this equation in the classroom so the same can be taken so p2 by p1 so can be written as a pressure ratio so gamma p whole to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma where gamma p is equal to pressure ratio so finally t2 is equal to t1 into so pressure ratio rp 
hold the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. So, in the same way for process 3 to 4. So, this is the process 3 to 4, this is the turbine work. So, again what we can write is the equation T3 by T4 is equal to P3 by P4 hold the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. See, as I have told you before, see, constant pressure process where P2 is equal to P3, P4 is equal to P1. So, here P2 is equal to P3 and P1 is equal to P4. So, which is constant pressure process. So, this can be written as, uh, so P2 by P1 hold the power of gamma minus 1. So, this can be written as uh, RP. So, we should not take it as gamma, but we can take it as RP because pressure ratio hold the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. So, T4, if you want to write, T4 is equal to T3 divided by, so divided by Rp to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. So, this is one equation. So, let us take this as of equation number 4. So, what I am going to do is, no, let us take equation number 4. And this is this equation we can take it as equation number 5. Now, what we are going to do is take equation 4 and 5. 4 and 5, this equation and this equation, these two equations we are going to substitute in equation number 3. So, in the place of temperatures we are going to substitute here. So, the next page what I will write is so cycle efficiency is equal to one minus in the place of uh, T4 what we can write is T3 we can write so T3 by RP to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma minus T1 divided by T3 minus in the place of T2 what we can write is T1 into rp hold to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma so by substituting we will get this equation so what you do is so everywhere t1 into rp rp hold to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma so everywhere rp to the power of gamma minus 1 so what we can do is 1 minus So, this T3, this T3 gets cancelled here and this Rp hold to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma, Rp to the power of, hold to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, finally what we get is after cancelling all these things, so 1 minus 1 divided by Rp to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. So, this is the cycle efficiency of gas turbine, 1 minus 1 divided by rp to the power of gamma minus 1 where rp is equal to pressure ratio and uh, gamma is equal to adiabatic index which is nothing but adiabatic index for air is equal to 1.4 this constant value we have to substitute so this is this is the method or derivation we have to follow to find out the efficiency of the gas turbines so 1 minus 1 divided by rp to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma so thank you so much students thank you very much